Hey everybody, Doug here. So I've got kind of an exciting announcement and that is that my Sketchpad software, which is used for doing telestration, real-time illustration, annotation of video, is now available. It's been in the, in the works a long time, but it is finally out now in beta. And you can get that in a link that's gonna be popping up here on your screen momentarily or by going to the link that's in the description of this video down below. I'll talk more about that and how that, inter how that actually works in a little bit. But uh, yeah, so the software is available now. Uh, I, I will say right now that the version that's available right now is, uh, is, is in beta, it's just a beta release. But because it's beta, I'm making it available to everybody for about a month. And then after that, you're gonna have to sign up for either YouTube membership program at the stars level or higher, so it's $5 a month or higher or on Patreon at the $5 a month or higher level. Now, there are actually two tiers of the software. There's a basic and a pro. The main difference between those is the pro allows us to do alpha transparency, and I will demonstrate what that means here in just a few moments. But the exciting news is software is finally out, uh, even though I promised it a year and a half ago. Main reason for delay is, one, I had to rewrite it from the ground up, so it's entirely new code, and also I had to produce a uh, software registration key system in order to make sure that someone doesn't sign up for the one of those programs once, download the software, and be able to use it for forever. Uh, because there's an ongoing support issue, and it's taken me a lot of time to write and test this thing, I am requiring that people put in registration codes to the software about once a month, and I'll talk more about that in a little bit. So, but with that said, let me actually just get in and kind of demonstrate this a little bit and what it's capable of doing. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my pen and I'm going to start drawing on my screen. Now those who are wondering, this is a Wacom One tablet and it's kind of hard to see, but it actually is a screen. There's an LCD screen on there. And the video that I'm seeing on here is the program output, the same thing that you're seeing on this video. All right, so I'm going to grab my pen and actually just start drawing. So there we go. I've got a nice circle around me there. And then I'll hit one of the number keys on the keypad to draw a different color. So, yeah, there's a little bit of yellow. And then we've got some green over here, some teal, a little blue across the bottom. And then we can get into uh, some magenta scribble over here and then a little white. And here's something that's new. I'm able to draw. And it's hard to see there, but you can actually draw in black, which is something that you can't do without having an alpha channel. And so that's something that's new in this version that the old version was never going to be capable of doing and one of the ma major reasons for the rewrite. So you can change the colors that you're drawing with by hitting the different number keys on the keyboard and then change the line thickness by pressing shift with the number keys. So if I do shift one and draw, and there we go, we go with red. It's a very thin line. You may not even be able to see that. And you shift nine, and that kicks it up to a much thicker line. There we go. All right, so and then escape to clear that out. So we've got the different, lots of different options for line thickness and color. So there we go. Draw a little red, and then I'm gonna start drawing in red, and then I'm gonna press the number key, and it actually changes the color of the line actively as I'm drawing. So, oh, I don't want that yellow, I want that green, there we go. Or maybe I want that teal or blue or magenta. Let's go back to green, okay. All right, so just that's the main tool that probably people will probably use the most, but it also has other drawing tools as well. So if I hit B on the keyboard for box, by the way, that last tool is available with the S key for sketch. So I go to B to B for box, and there we go, we draw a box. And then we'll do our, draw a yellow box over here, okay? So we've got some different uh, available tools there as well. So there's a box, a C for circle, and R for rounded rectangle. All right, go to a different color. All right, but there's also some modifiers on each one of those as well. So you can hold down the shift key. So I'll do a circle and hold down the shift key. And as I'm drawing, you can see that the circle is now a perfect circle. It's not an ellipse uh, or oval. So, so you have, have the option to actually constrain the dimensions of it. And that actually works with boxes as well. So if I go over to box and then start drawing with the shift key, you can see that that is a, remains a square no matter where my cursor lands on the screen, okay? So that's, that's available. And the other one that we have is the ability to fill that in. So if I go to over here to B to box, and I hold down the control key and start drawing. You can see that that is a filled box rather than just the frame. So that's available on those tools as well, okay? Now, that's kind of the, about the functionality for 
the basic version of the software. Now the pro version of the software adds alpha transparency to all of this and so we can start to do some other really cool things. So let me just start with something real simple. So if I hold down the control key and press six on the keyboard, that tells me, tells the software that I want the opacity to be at, level, at basically 60%. Is that right? Yes. No, sorry, the transparency to be at 60%. So now as I select red and start drawing, you can see that that is partially transparent. You can actually see through that. So uh, it allows us to actually make some of the background continue to show through by adjusting that level of opacity. And if I do control five, you'll see that it's actually slightly more opaque. Uh, control four, even more. Control three, even more than that, and so forth. So that is a new functionality that's, uh, that's only been available in this version of software. It's something, that, something that I couldn't have easily done in the prior version, and again, the primary reason for the rewrite. But in addition to being able to draw at various levels of opacity, we can also do some other really cool things. So I'm going to start with this one. This is a highlight functionality. So I'm going to change to, to yellow, and pressing 2, an H for highlight, and then I'm going to draw a box around me. And you can see that that draws a box which is partially transparent, so highlighting that portion of the screen. Uh, if I go over to I hit three, now I have green, uh, five, we have blue. But if we want to have multiple of these on screen at one time, all I have to do is hold down the shift key when we start drawing. So we go back over here to yellow, to hold down the shift key, and then start drawing, and there we go. So now we have blue and yellow highlights on screen at the same time, okay? All right, so that is new functionality that I couldn't have done in the prior version because of this alpha transparency channel that we have uh, as part of this software. But things go even farther than that. So I've got this feature, it's called a window. So I press the W key on the screen. And then again, I will draw a box around me. Nothing looks unusual right now, but as soon as I let up on the pen, bingo. So it's now allowing that everything in that box to show through with 100% opacity and everything else to be darkened. So you're able to create a window, that's where the W comes in around a specific area of the screen. So if I want to do a window down here around my touchpad, or my, my drawing pad, there we go. That is a feature that's available there. Now I've got two other uh, features that use this opacity, alpha transparency function as well. And first of all, M for moving window. And what this allows me to do is take my pen and highlight a portion of the image. So uh, I'll change the color of that box. There we go. So as I'm moving around, you can see that every, everything inside the box, you can see with its full uh, opacity, but everything outside the box becomes um, darkened. So you're able to highlight specific areas of the screen using this tool. Now, similar to that, we've also got one which uh, does the same thing using a circle, and that's accessed using the O key on the keyboard. So I can move around and highlight specific areas of the screen just using that particular tool. Okay. All right, so those are some not new, some new functionality that's only made available by the virtue of having alpha channel support in the software. Now, let me show you very briefly how that's set up within within the user interface. So I'm going to go kind of go over here to this view where you can see my desktop, and there you can actually see the uh, user interface for the software, which by design does not actually show through whenever you're using the alpha transparency version of the software uh, but, th but these tools are there so you've got your colors you can select from you've got your line thicknesses and you've got your other tools here but down here in the lower left corner we've got our configuration our setup button so we'll click that and i'll come over here and you can see that there are selections for two different monitors so you've got your primary output monitor which is your fill channel basically whatever you're drawing and then there is a secondary choice here Again, only in the Pro Edition, which is the version available to those who are $10 a month and higher, what allows you to select which display you're going to use for your Alpha channel. So in this case, I'm using Output 1 for the main and then Output 2 for the Alpha channel. So what that means is you actually do need to have two outputs on a computer connected into your video switcher. So if you want to be able to do this, you're going to need to make those connections as long for in order to support their Alpha transparency. Uh, so, basically, you can use your choice of HDMI to SDI converter if you happen to be using a switcher that has SDI, or just run two HDMI cables from your computer into your switcher. If your computer does not have two HDMI outputs, you can probably adapt a USB-C or a DisplayPort to HDMI 
in order to get those into a computer. So right now I'm using an Intel Nook. It's a, this is an 11th generation model. It has two HDMI outputs. So it was super simple for me to hook this up. I just ran that into a bi-directional HDMI, HDMI SDI, uh, the, the micro bi-directional converter 12G. Uh, and then I'm using an, an additional HDMI to SDI converter in order to get the alpha channel out of there. Now the bi-directional converter is so I can get video back into my tablet as shown earlier. There actually is video on there so I can see what I'm drawing. But I'm using the bi-directional to get video from the switcher back into the tablet so it's easier for me to see what's going on. I should mention that this software does not require a tablet. It's easier to use with a tablet, but that's not an actual hard fast requirement. It would work with a mouse if you wanted to do that, but and the other option that might make more sense for a lot of people is a touchscreen monitor. A touchscreen monitor. There are a lot of touchscreen monitors out there that are pretty affordable at this point, and this software will work just fine with those as well. So if you don't want to invest in this Wacom One tablet, you can get a touchscreen monitor with an HDMI input and do exactly the same thing just using your finger instead of a pen. So that's another option as well. Okay. All right. Now, let me briefly get into the way that the software is distributed and licensed because I know there's going to be some questions around this. I'm not doing this in a standard way. Okay, so first of all, the download link, which uh, is sort of popping up on your screen right now, uh, is actually not a direct download link. It takes you to the Discord channel set up specifically for this Sketchpad software. And there's, there's a one big reason I'm doing that, and that's so that I can make sure that you know where to go for support. So I don't want people emailing me directly. I don't want people trying to call me on the phone for support of the software. I want all support requests to go into that Discord support channel. So the link that you, that's popping up during this video and in the description down below takes you into Discord. And then the actual link to download the software is available in a pinned message at the top of that channel. So you go to click on that download, go to install the software, uh, this, by the way, this only runs on Windows, so Mac users, Linux users, I apologize, uh, it does require Windows to work. But you can download the software from there, run the setup to install it. If you don't already have the .NET runtime installed for .NET 6, it will prompt you to download that as well. And then once you've got that installed, you can launch the software and it's going to ask you for three things. It's going to ask you for your name, it's going to ask you for an email address, and then a registration code. And those registration codes, I'm int intentionally keeping short. For right now, they're eight characters. I might change that later, we'll see. But you enter that eight-digit code and then press the register button, and then that will go up to my server, submit that information up to my server, and it will then email you a verification code uh, to your email address that you provide to unlock the software at that point. Now, as of right now, I'm planning on those registration codes working for about 60 days. We'll see how that goes. If, if I see that people are who are signing up for the membership programs are staying for a long time, I might extend that period of time to make it longer, but that's just something that time, only time is going to tell. But the idea behind this was I want to make it as easy as possible to unlock the software but protect myself so that people aren't just mooching off of it and getting it for free, using it for forever, expecting support, etc. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sending out registration codes, these registration codes, to Patreon and YouTube supporters once a month. And each one of those codes will be good for at least a month, probably longer. I'm leaning towards two months at this point. And the software, once it's unlocked, once it's registered, stays that way for that 60 to 90 days. So whatever time period I've defined, each one of the registration codes I issue has an expiration, a specific expiration date. And you're able to use the software however you want up until that registration code expires. It doesn't keep checking in with my server to make sure it's still valid. It's a one-time thing. So if you're in the video production world and you're working times, working in locations where you're not going to have reliable internet access, register the software on your computer before you leave, before you go to your venue, and then it's going to work fine for you once you get there. So as long as... Uh, you, you do that initial registration when you've got internet access, that registration will just continue to work. Just don't rename your computer, change your login name. It's a couple other basic things. Uh, don't, all, don't, don't play with stuff in the registry, and that registration code will actually still continue to work for uh, up until that expiration date, which, I, which are, is unique for each one of the registration codes that I give. So I figured that's about the easiest way for me to do it. In the case of YouTube, for example, Google does not make available a list of 
people who are supporters. I, I can't tell who you are. There's just no way for me to find that. So there's no way to issue registration codes directly to you through the YouTube membership program. I could technically do it through Patreon, but there's no easy way to do it. And I thought this was kind of the easiest solution to get the software out there and make it available for, for free for those who want it, but still provide the periodic monthly, bi-monthly checks or updates to make sure that people who are using the software are still continuing to support the channel. So anyway, as simple as possible, this is what I came up with. And those codes, again, are very short, so you can even just type it. You don't even necessarily have to copy it to your clipboard, um, but nice and easy. So, okay, well, there it is. So if you, uh, you want to try this out, go to that djp.li slash sketchpad link that's popped up on the screen here a few times during the video to go to Discord to get the download link to download the software, and then you can use the software as for, uh, for the duration of time that the registration code you're using is good. I, I will say right now that because this is in beta, I'm making this ver initial version available to everybody. So I've published the registration codes that are good up through the 1st of June. Or if there's... Yeah, anyway. So I've posted registration codes that are good for a while uh, in the Discord. So you don't have to be a supporting member of the channel to get access to the software for at least until the beginning of June. So if you want to try this out, please go, please go over there and do that. Uh, I want feedback. I want to get this in, in as many people's hands as possible in order to make sure that this actually is useful and providing the functionality that people are needing. So, okay, with that said, um, go try it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, appreciate all the support you guys have given me here on the channel. It's, uh, it's great. I appreciate it so much. So, again, if you have questions, please uh, post those in the Discord. And, uh, and I'll try and get, the, I'll try and do my best to answer those there. So, Thanks, everybody, for watching, and have a fantastic day.